we approach the most important week in the calendar of the church year, beginning with the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, and then his passion, death, and joyous resurrection on Easter Sunday, let us prayerfully remind ourselves now of some of these events. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, and the cheering crowd welcomed him as the Messiah, the long-awaited one. They laid their cloaks on the ground for him to walk on as a sign of respect. They waved palm branches and shouted out, Hosanna to the Son of David! It was a welcome such as kings received at that time. Thank <laughs> you. 
He went a little farther up, threw himself on the ground, and prayed that, if possible, he might not have to go through that time of suffering. and found him. The men had torches and sticks. They were very frightening. And right in front was Judas, who had been one of Jesus' friends. Judas crept up to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek. This is the man you want. Arrest him. He seems to look very sad. Jesus' friends were scared. Most of them ran away, but not Peter. He pulled out the sword and started swinging it about. Put your sword away, Peter. Now is not the time for fighting. I have to go with them. God wants me to. So the men grabbed Jesus and dragged him before the religious leaders, the ones who doubted him. He was trying to kill them. He says he'll destroy our kingdom. He says he'll destroy our temple. He says he is our king. None of this was true, of course, but it didn't matter, because the leaders had already made up their minds. Jesus was different from them. Jesus wouldn't do what they said, so Jesus had to die. <laughs> Release him, don't release him, Caesar's threatened. 
they beat Jesus and then took away his clothes. Put an old robe around his shoulders. And jammed a crown of thorns on his head. So you think you're okay? Well, look at you now. Jesus never said a word. His body hurt and his heart was racing, but he never spoke. They took a cross made of wood and they placed it on his back. They shouted and led him from the city. Some people cried when they saw him. Others cheered and dragged that cross through the city gates and up the nearby hill. When they got to the top of the hill, they laid Jesus on the cross and nailed him to it. Then they raised the cross so that everyone could see it and they left him to die. A thief hanging next to him was afraid, but Jesus talked to him and made him feel better. Jesus' mother was there too, standing in the crowd, so Jesus called to one of his friends. Take care of her for me, will you, John? She's your mother now. But most of the faces in the crowd were not so kind, shouting, You shamed other people! So why can't you shame yourself? <coughs> Jesus knew why. It wasn't because his enemies had won. It was because God wanted him there on the cross to take away all the bad things anyone had ever done. So it was five weeks off and the earth shook. It was as if God's own heart was broken. And then it happened. Jesus cried out, It is done! This day I will be with you in paradise. The crowds were afraid. They shook their heads and said, This was indeed God's eternal son. shining clothes and said to Mary Magdalene and the other women, Why do you look here for one who is alive? Jesus is not here. He has risen, as he said. The angel then reminded them of God's great plan, which was that Jesus was to suffer, be crucified, and then rise again. Someone came, an ordinary person. His name was Emmanuel. We believe in him. We give thanks to the risen Lord as we pray. For the gift of life and all its love and beauty. We thank you, Hallelujah. Now baptism and new life in you. We thank you, Hallelujah. For peace where there is hunger, for joy where there is sorrow. 
We thank you, hallelujah. Then just join in the prayer, our Savior taught us, as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So on Kay, an ordinary person, his name was Emmanuel. We believe in him. Someone grew up with family and friends. We believe in him. Someone told us about God. Someone told us God is our Father. His name is Son of God. We believe in him. Someone proclaimed the good news, his name is Jesus Christ. We believe in him. Someone died and was raised for us. His name is Saviour. He is our Lord. We believe in him.